Now let us try to test our constraints so that we understand the relational model, how intact it is inside the database. What I'll do is members underscore one is a child table. We already know that. And books is a parent table based on the book ID column because that there is a foreign key involved, right? I will try to force and insert a record under, under members underscore one table, even though there is no parent record into the books underscore one table. So what happens? Let us look at it. Insert into members underscore one values. So guys, I'm trying to be creative. I'll use ampersand substitution so that it makes my life easy to insert again and again. So ampersand member underscore ID comma member name. It has to be in single quotes ampersand member underscore name. And then we have book ID ampersand book underscore ID and then we have phone number it's a number so ampersand phone and then we have email that's a character so ampersand email all right that's it so let me run this command and i will input all the values by myself so i want to insert a member id of double one the member name is John. The book ID value. Okay, I'm giving some value for book ID. I know this does not exist in our primary table or the books table. I'm still giving it. The phone number 1234567789. Click on OK. And in the email, I'm not giving at the rate and dot. So we are trying to forcing some wrong values, or I would say John. Click on OK. So what's the error? Can you say check constraint is violated because this value or sorry, the email ID that we inserted, it is not valid. All right. So you can see over here insert into members values. So what are the values that are being inserted? 11, John, 10, this and then John. Now I'll run this command again and this time let us give a correct email ID and see if the insert goes on or not. 11, John, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then John at the rate gmail.com. Now, can you see integrity constraint? AKS Golu dot members books ID FK violated parent key not found. That means if there is no record under the parent table books ID, I cannot assign a book to the member. This actually helps you have your business rules followed even inside the database. Because see, you cannot have a member who has never taken a book. I'm just creating a scenario, right? So in the members table, you got to have someone who has taken a book. Now, if you have a member in the members, table that means that member must have borrowed a book and you cannot have a book id which is null and that's the reason these kind of constraints they help you put business rules onto the tables right so let us look at another constraint violation we have phone number and it is not null i will give all the values correct and i'll try to put phone number as null value, right? So in that case, rather than ampersand substitution, I'll have to write null. And let us run this command. So member ID is 11, member name is John, book ID is, of course, we'll have book ID issue. Email is john at the rate gmail.com. Now in this case, what is being violated? Can you see insert null into this? So the phone number is null value. Remember guys, always the table level constraints are solved before it looks for the foreign key constraints, right? In this statement, we know that foreign key constraint is also violated. There is no book ID called as 10, but still first Oracle will check the table level constraints. So in this table, the phone number is null. So we have an error. How do you solve this problem? 
first insert a parent record so let me insert some values into the insert into books underscore one values so book id one title abc and category business all right one row is inserted over here okay i deleted the command insert into members one values member id 1001 now this will be a problem guys i am putting or trying to insert a four digit value where the column size is two so this will throw an error let me give the member id is 99 member name is john the book id is what's the book id we gave earlier one book id is one and then we have phone number one two three four five six seven eight we have next is email john at the rate gmail.com let us run this command and see can you see one row inserted right commit the transactions don't worry our next topic is commit and roll back so select star from books underscore one you see one record over there and select star from members underscore one great guys these are the ways to define constraints inside a table if you have multiple constraints on same column just give a comma and continue to mention your constraint so what we have seen over here is on the email column we have defined two constraints one is unique and one is check constraint of course it has to be unique there are nulls are allowed but we are still having a check constraint in this kind of example of course there will be an issue if you try to put null value the check constraint will throw an error right so you have to be careful what type of constraints you are using and don't worry these constraints are provided to you by your database architect they will tell you what properties each column will hold and depending on those properties you as a database developer or dba sometimes might have to create these tables